And I want to bring in Sheriff Eddie Caffey. He's a Union County Sheriff. He's been all over this story, intimately involved. Sheriff, thank you so much for joining me. And, and can you please uh, tell us, what was this little boy, this little 11-year-old boy, wearing at the time he was discovered by police? Uh, he had on a T-shirt and long pants and just sitting out there, no coat, winter temperatures, uh, sitting out on the porch, handcuffed to the rail with a uh, dead chicken tied around his neck. And, and, you know, why was, do we know why there was a dead chicken tied around his neck? Did, has, has he spoken to police about that? Well, we have talked to him at a little bit, but we don't feel that he's ready to talk a lot. He's... Uh, pretty traumatic for not only that child but the other four children that were in that home so we're giving them a little time a day or two to settle down a little bit and then we want to have uh, professionals that deal with children of this age uh, do the interviews and this is just incredible to me especially uh, I I'm a mother sheriff of an 11 year old little boy and they are so very naive at, at, at this age. Do we know why he was chained what, uh, to the front porch and, and given this punishment of a chicken around his neck? Do we, have we learned anything as to why the parents felt that he should be punished in that way? Uh, we haven't, I haven't heard anything that I think is a valid reason, uh, you know, to chain up a child because he runs away or, or these other rumors that are out there, there's no reason that I can think of. If he runs away from home and you chain him up because he run away from home, that's not a good answer. You need to get him some help and not chain him up. Uh, there's a lot of uh, information out there, but we have found nothing that can even remotely justify anything in this case. We are in agreement there, Sheriff. Let me ask you, you mentioned other children other children in the home. How many other children were in the home and what is uh, their relation, if any, to this little boy? Uh, there were four other children in the home uh, ranging up uh, to age 14. Uh, they are cousins, but they have also been adopted. The little boy out on the porch, they had guardianship over that child and they tell us three or four, the other four, were actually adoption. Now, uh, you know what I don't understand, um, Sheriff? How is it that this couple was allowed to have four adopted children and one foster child for all of this time, and this is the first time that we have discovered the conditions in this home? Well, I think you have asked a question that all of us are asking and and what this investigation is going to tell us before it's over with was how did, and by the way, it's been reported they were married. We now know they wasn't married. Uh, so we will ask the question is how does a single mother with a full-time job have adoption of four children and custody of a fifth child. Uh, those are questions that certainly we want the answers to.